just a little back behind him about a voice that sang at sea. And then this fantastic news appeared on the front page. And then in screaming headlines, that's great, all about it, paper, a singing whale, what do you know, imagine that, I don't believe it, I don't believe it, for who ever heard of an operatic whale, believe it, I don't believe it. Anatomical biology debated and argued and quoted ichthyology. Impossible, preposterous, we savagely deny it. Magnificent, yeah, miraculous, yeah, we certainly certify it. And even the great impresario of the grand opera. Well, she's uh, maybe swallowed a hopper singer. Does it? This uh, well, she's a uh, swallowed a hopper singer. I find the great Signor Donatelli in the fish market. I discover the great the Lily Gal in the honky tonky. You know why not? I find the hopper singer in the belly of a whale. Huh? I do it. <laughs> Get me a great big spooner and get me a good harpooner. Photographers and reporters from all the news of papers. Publicity, publicity, publicity. Publicity, yes. But to Whitey the Seagull, it was opportunity. The big opportunity for his friend, Willie the Whale. There was no time to lose. He must bring these two together. Well, there was Tetti Tati now. And Tetti Tati was in for a wonderful surprise. Because Willie hadn't swallowed any opera singer. He could really sing. Listen. Mammy's little baby love shortening, shortening. Mammy's little baby love shortening bread. Mammy's little baby love shortening, shortening. Mammy's little baby love shortening bread. Two little children lying in bed. One of them sick and other most dead. Call for the doctor. The doctor said, feed them children on shortening bread. Mammy's little baby love shortening, shortening. Mammy's little baby love shortening bread. Mammy's little baby love shortening, shortening. Mammy's little baby love shortening bread. Mm. After all these years of casting his shortening bread upon the waters, now at last success lay just over the waves. Willie, 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 look! That's you, Willie. He's looking for you. It's your big opportunity. Willie's going to be a great star. Our Willie is going to sing grand opera. Goodbye, my friend. I'm off to be discovered. La, 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 la. At last, the long years of patient waiting and the endless hours of faithful practice were about to be rewarded. As Willie sped to his audition, he wondered what he should sing for his opening number. What would impress this impresario? How about a bit of Figaro? Yeah, sure. Figaro. Figaro! 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 Figaro!
cipolla con la bota per carità, per carità, per carità. Shoot the well! Con la bota, con la bota per carità. Figaro! Figaro! Hey! Figaro! sing in three separate voices. Tenor, baritone, and bass. Why, Willie was a singing miracle. Io sperai che a me la vita tronca per mio spavano Mamma mia, he's a poor hopper thing. Right there before his very eyes was the biggest discovery in all musical history. Just imagine a whale singing opera on the very stage of the Met.
Now Willie will never sing at the Met. But don't be too harsh on Tetty Tatty. He just didn't understand. You see, Willie's singing was a miracle. And people aren't used to miracles. And you, faithful little friend, don't be too sad. Because miracles never really die. And somewhere in whatever heaven is reserved for creatures of the deep, Willie is still singing in a hundred voices, each more golden than before. And he'll go on singing amid the applause and the cheering forever.